Say, family, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. There's so much going on right now, man. We probably gotta split these into a couple different videos. Probably like three or four more to do. So I hope y'all rock out with me through the entirety, man. We probably be up till like three or four in the morning uh, doing these, man. Already been up all night trying to get this done. But uh, I'm gonna do that for y'all, family. We're gonna lose sleep. And uh, yeah, we finna rock out on the cool. We gotta holla at Cali. We gotta holla at Baton Rouge, Texas. Chicago, y'all see we got a very very busy schedule and this one right here man is uh the 4k trades man the NBA camp man on a cool They have a lot going on right now and probably just suffered one of the worst losses that they've probably suffered since the passing of NBA dump big dump I don't think y'all understand how deep the loss of wild side yellow runs man wild side yellow is one of the engines that makes the BBG car run he's one of the engines that helped build a lot of those youngins life and that's why i said what i said yesterday pertaining towards wild side yellow and him being one of those who motivated the youth to push and be better you feel me you know he's one of the ones who helped start uh boozilla going to the studio consecutively and locking in you know what i'm saying he's one of the ones that helped in that nature so in a sense if you look at it without wild side yellow would everybody like yb be where they are because boozilla as we all know inspired yb to rap so for wild side yellow to be a part of that push and try to make sure that boozilla and all the rest of the bbgs had a studio to go to to record and lock in that was a huge uh push i don't even know if he knew what he was doing back then but that helped them be where they are at today you know what i'm saying so a lot of the love and respect has to be paid to that man and this is a huge loss you feel me but on the cool man we're gonna go ahead and dive into everything man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all that way you will be notified every time we drop a video y'all already know all right we finna rock out <laughs> I don't get how none of them boys want to trick with me. Say, boss, Hey, I know you watching. Hey, you there? Hey, my. I got my cast to go today. Still, her name. Give me a whole nother cast. I gotta yeah, keep it. I gotta keep the time on for a month straight, son. Lord. I don't know why you choose to lie to me, bitch. I don't know. You ain't got a lot of kick it over here, water. Train. He wide demon, he don't give a f about what you saying. I be the reason that these Now, let's get back to the business, though. A lot of the BBGs, man, they are destroyed behind this loss. And a lot of them took to their Instagram stories to send a message through music, speaking on how they feel and also letting it be known what is to come. Now, let me say allegedly for all the extra out people. The first one that did it was BBG Root. He used YB song and said this. <laughs> Then BBG Nemo, he used YB song as well. Then Wildside SB, he said, Dang, uh, ain't never imagined I'm effed up. Then we got BBG Baby Joe, and BBG Baby Joe didn't say nothing on his live, but he took to his live to use YB songs to send a message and also pin posts talking about what is to come, allegedly. This one says, it's a WAR in the city. Then his homies were also on there, you know, talking and letting it be known how they feeling. You know, everybody was going crazy, turned up. This is one of his partners saying, it's the playoffs. You know what it is. 
LeBron. Then this one says, who gang take? Let me know something. Lil Twan says, that get back finna be something serious. Then Fee says, now nah, he on here passing out kills with the laughing emojis. And then this last one, kill one of us, we gonna kill you back. Then Sam says, we gonna catch you come this way. So you see them boys on the gas and whatnot. Then like I said, you know, baby Joe was on the live, sending a message through the music. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop it right there, man, because I know y'all don't wanna hear that all sped up, and you know, y'all just get the gist of it. He used a lot of YB songs to send a message on what is to come, letting it be known that, you know, uh, get back is pretty much inevitable. You know what I'm saying? What's understood ain't gotta be explained, allegedly, for all the extra out people. Now, that wasn't it from Baby Joe, as he also used ESTG's song, letting it be known he want blood. Then we got BBG Block as he first says, why, man, the F he do to a dude. My daddy, bruh, y'all killed my daddy, dog. Dang, God, you just don't F over me like that. I worship you faithfully. I bow down and ask you to protect my family over and over again. And you just gonna forsake me like this, dog? I killed a innocent man. Why not me? Why my daddy? That man heart made a goal. Like, come on, dog. Bro, hey, don't turn your back on the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? We all go through ups and downs. But don't turn your back. But that wasn't it from Block. He also put up this post of an old pic of his daddy and his cousin as he captions it. I'm going to miss you, dude. Look like me and Cordell. The last two white boys left. I heart my heart broken. I can't believe you left the dude, man. Why the F I'm a dude when I be having female problems and need a little game? A little money, a daddy, the F I'ma do. I ain't never lived this life without you. What the F, man? You just gonna push on me like that? Nah, man, that's selfish. I know my daddy finna call me any minute and tell me some KK dead. Your heart too good to go out like this, man. Duh, dudes broke me with this one. So you bring me on this F earth to leave me here? No, no, no. So y'all see, man, BBG Block, man, he going through it, man. This one right here crushing him. You know what I'm saying? And it's even worse because he locked away and separated from all his family, man, while they all out here grieving and everybody hurting and going through it, you know, uh, thinking about crashing out and all that different stuff, man, because this one is truly painful for all of them. But that wasn't it from him. As he also goes on to say this, 15 grand in my bank account. I'm trying to get rid of it. So y'all see what type of time he on. And he also puts up a song Letting it be known how he feels as well. And saying, you know, he want blood. Then he posts this pic and captures it with what an effing bond to break. An old pic of his pops. Finally, Block says, I'm done crying. Y'all turn with the coughing emojis. So y'all see what type of time Block on, man. He ain't feeling none of it. Then we got BBG Tyler, Lit Tyler, as he says, Dang, Yella, I can't believe this stuff, man. This world full of B.A. people. You was one of the only people who believed the dude could go far with this rap stuff. Ain't too many people helped us with our dream. Even the people that know how far we could go. R.I.P. Last Level. Wild Side for Life. With the black heart and the gorilla emoji. So y'all see um, Tyler, man. He ain't feeling it either, of course. You know, that's like his step pops, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's an ugly situation. But this is all coming on a day before the birthday of Pig, BBGD's 14-year-old brother that passed away. You know, you see all the BBGs reacted to uh, today being his birthday and made a young and rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? 
I believe uh, you would have been, what, uh, 16, 17 today? You know, not even grown yet, man. That's crazy, man. Babies out here losing their life. People out here taking out young babies and old older men, people's parents, man. Like, there is no dignity. There is no rules. There's no laws no more. Everybody just out here doing whatever they want to do with no care in the world. On the cool. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all that right there, man. And that wasn't it, man. As BBGD just recently dropped his new song, Thrax Pack. And in this song, he got highly disrespectful towards his opposition. Check this out. So as y'all see, man, that man BBGD was on the gas, man, and sending jabs at Seven Hardaway, man. This is Seven Hardaway. He got disrespectful throughout the entirety of the song, man, but uh, it's too long, man. We're not going to break it all down and show it all to y'all, man. Y'all ain't even going to be interested in all that. The way that we had to distort the audio and whatnot, but uh, y'all see, man, that man most definitely on the gas. And uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Then we got that man NBA Ben 10. As he first said, they hate on me, but don't deserve that. But I don't understand what he mean by that. You know what I'm saying? Did he mean they had on me, but I don't deserve that? We don't, we'll never know. But on the cool, NBA Ben 10 just recently dropped his new song as well. And in this new song, he spoke about a few things, man. Uh, first, you know, he took jabs at the opposition. He also spoke about him and Top hitting licks at 16. We all heard that before. We heard him talk about that. But then he also talked about his mama's tumor and, you know, how he's going through that and whatnot. Y'all go ahead and check this out, fam. Now you finna talk about in 2016 when him and Top was hitting licks and uh, also speak about his mama having that tumor. He was still sending jabs at the opposition, but it's a different vibe a little bit now. Well, as y'all see, man, that man being 10 expressing his feelings, man, speaking about his mama. Uh, having a tumor on her, her brain and also uh, taking jabs at the opposition old times with YB and all that and how do y'all feel about uh, BBG Block Pops passing do y'all feel like that was out of bounds and out of line let me know down in the comment section and y'all know I will be back